It's always fun to be a part of TIFF. It's always fun to have something at the festival. It's uh, so much going on, so many people from all over the world who all love movies and make movies. It's exciting to be around all of the, uh, all of the activity to do with a film festival. The filmmakers, Lindsay and Dane, Lindsay Stewart and Dane Clark, they are wrapped by the same agency as me. And so my agent said, you know, you should meet these people. They're really great filmmakers and I think you guys would click. And so we met and we really liked each other. And they had this short that they had written and they thought I would be right for it. And then I told them my husband's an actor too, Patrick. And so they're like, oh, this would be perfect. Let's put you guys as a married couple playing a married couple. So the film's actually a married couple playing a married couple and directed by a married couple. So there's many layers of art reflecting life, reflecting art going on with Bickford Park. I think the film's really about those what if questions that you always ask when you're in a relationship or when you feel like your, your option has closed and you've made a decision. You can't help but fantasize or think about a life you could have lived. I think the film's really exploring how people stop feeling, people feel that they stop growing at a certain point in their life and often in a committed relationship you feel that you settle into a routine and you have this fixed notion about who you are. I think this film is about people exploring who they think they might want to be or lives they wish they could lead, um, but also the real consequences of that. I'm in a film called Meditation Park that's premiering tonight, actually, and it's directed by Mina Shum, an amazing filmmaker, actually one of my favorite filmmakers I've ever worked with, and she's being honored at the Burks Tribute on Wednesday as well, and her film is opening the Vancouver International Film Festival, which is exciting. And I was so delighted to be in this story because I've never, in 20 years almost, been in a film that starred a 60-year-old woman. It is her story. She's the protagonist, this amazing actress, Cheng Pepe, who is the Meryl Streep of China. But if Meryl Streep could do martial arts, because she's also in tons of kung fu kind of movies. She was in um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Uh, she's a force of nature, and she's so kind and so beautiful on screen. Um, and it's her story of finding herself later in life and kind of coming out from under the thumb of um, her domineering husband and how they're adjusting to life in their older age. Um, it's just really a fresh voice and a new story and I was so excited to be a part of it. And Sandra Oh is in the film and Don McKellar. Great, great, great cast. Uh, great, great, great story. And the kinds of stories that Canada should be telling, like very distinctive and because of that universal. Most of the time I'm just grateful for the work, honestly, um, to be cast and have the opportunity to do a part. Uh, but obviously I like something that's well written and when I say that I mean it has something to say. It's expressing a unique voice, a distinct point of view, um, and the characters are complicated. Not just strong, but I mean they are, they have goals and they have flaws and they're they're just fully rounded people who jump off the page. So um, subtlety is another quality that I appreciate. And you don't always get that. Now TV is so different, but sometimes you don't get that in t TV as much. But um, humor I also like. And agency is important to me in characters, like a female character who has a trajectory and has a purpose of her own outside enabling the hero to realize his problem um, or solution. Uh, a character with her own like interior life and outside goal and purpose is always compelling to me. I'm writing, I'm becoming a writer. And I sold my first pilot, which also stars a 60-year-old woman who is optioned by Temple Street, who produce or Orphan Blacks. So they're a great studio and I'm I'm learning um, about becoming a TV creator and I'm really excited. I'm writing more pilots and that's my way of contributing to create more interesting parts for women, more female protagonism. And it's, it's really rewarding, maybe even more so than acting, you know, it's like my, I get to create something and when you write, 
you're building something from nothing. There used to be nothing, and then you create this world, and there's something there that wasn't before. So that's been a really exciting journey, and I'm excited to see where my pilot goes. It's called Maggie McKill.